today's devotional can be found in Lamentations, chapter 2, verse 1. How hath the Lord covered the daughter of Zion with a cloud in his anger, and cast down from heaven unto the earth the beauty of Israel, and remembered not his footstool in the day of his anger. Okay, so we're all beautiful, we're all children of God. And we have the choice whether or not we embrace the time and opportunities of learning and growth that the atonement has given us. But know this, <clears throat> those who indulge in paths of wickedness will not be scot-free. There will come a time that those who indulge in wickedness will need to answer for what they have used the time, for how they use their time and their efforts. And I mean, everybody else will have to be accountable for the good works they do, so of course, people will also need to be accountable for the bad works they do. And it's not going to be pretty because there will be, like, there will be Opportun there's opportunity to show remorse and repent and go through that process and have the atonement take away those those mistakes, but if people don't do that, if they don't have any remorse, if they don't wish those things taken, if they think they have done nothing wrong, if they just dig themselves deeper and deeper because they think there's nowhere else to go, well, they'll see the angry side of the Lord. Those who delight in hurting others will see the angry side of the Lord. Those who delight in, in seeing pain caused to others will see the anger of the Lord. For we are all human and all imperfect and we're all prone to making mistakes, but it's how we react to making the mistakes that matters in what we do after we make the mistake. There's two things you can do with a mistake. You can either say, I'm sorry, do what you can to make it better and do better next time, or you can ignore it not feel guilty at all, and keep making mistakes. Those who say, I'm sorry, try to do what they can to fix it, as for God and Jesus Christ's help in rectifying it and go through the process, will have a much easier time when it comes to accountability than those who don't wish to do anything about their mistakes. And it's all just, it's all very simple to say, like, I'm sorry and fix our mistakes. <coughs> mm. It's all very simple, but a lot of people don't do it because they think it's a lot more effort to fix their mistakes than to keep making new ones. But you keep, every time you make a mistake and don't fix it, it's a chain. And the chain gets links. And it grows length by length and yard by yard. And honestly, I wish those luck who think they can carry a chain on their own, like a chain of sin, a chain of pain, a chain of anger. I wish them all luck who think they can carry that. Because it was tough for Christ to carry the imperfections of the world, we cannot carry it. Because we're not perfect. The only perfect being ever to exist is Christ. And now I don't get why you wouldn't want your imperfections taken away, like, and strength given to you to get through life. But the nature of people is sometimes confusing. And maybe, I don't know, maybe people think that they aren't worth it, but 
guess what? God and Christ love everyone. They see everyone. <clears throat> it's worth their time, love, and effort. Everyone's a child of God. And we are all beautiful, and hence why God and Christ put all this effort and work into making, to helping us become better if we so wish. Because they see our beauty and potential, and we need to see our beauty and potential, but we have our free agency. And with that said, I love you all so very much, and I say these things humbly in the name of Jesus Christ, amen.